so today I'm doing a quick little video. Honestly, I had other videos filmed and stuff, but I just decided that I didn't like any of them. And I just didn't even want to try and upload them because I didn't like any of them. So I'm doing this one. I'm doing a products I regret buying video. So yes, I did get my nails done, girl. They are on fleek. But I just decided why not do a products I regret buying because I have quite a few and I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on these items. Also, please excuse my face. I have, like, no makeup on today. Today is just kind of, like, a chill day for me. So, yeah, but if you guys want to see this products I regret buying, then just keep watching. So, starting off, the first thing I have is this retinol eye gel. I got this from TJ Maxx because I ran out of my, um other one I was using by Origins and I just saw this one and I was like well this one's for dark circles let me use it and I did I think I did feature this in a favorites but honestly at first I thought I was seeing results but considering I've been using this for about six months now I've seen no results it doesn't work it just I don't know it's just like something extra to my beauty routine that doesn't even work or contribute or anything like that so I don't know this was ten dollars and I just highly regret buying this it does nothing for my under eyes it doesn't depuff them it doesn't take away wrinkles it doesn't you know take away darkness it just I'm adding it when it really doesn't do anything so I really regret buying this I feel like I could have you know spent ten dollars on another eye cream or even invested more into a different eye cream over this one I mean even though like with the origins one I didn't see big results I still saw some results and with this I see nothing so I do regret buying this next thing I have are two liners the first one is the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on pencil in perversion I featured this in my last haul that I did because they did not have my black velvet and they acted like they didn't even know what this was so I just got this one because I was in need of a good black liner and I've literally heard everybody rave about this so I picked this up the girls at Sephora were telling me how wonderful it was how great it was honestly guys this stuff does nothing but run on me like you know I'll wear it for maybe an hour and it's all in the corners of my eyes and underneath and I just it doesn't last on me it doesn't set even when I set it with my black shadow it doesn't set it doesn't do anything but run and it just honestly is not that good of a liner to me. I feel like just like the original um, pencil, this one's in zero, works better than this one. I mean, it is a super black liner, but on me it just doesn't last. So, I don't know. I really liked it like the first week I used it. But then as I kept using it, I saw that, you know, it really wasn't helping me out. It just was not a good product to me. So, I don't know. It just isn't. You know worth the $20 to me like I said a lot of these things are probably holy grails in some people's makeup collections but in mine it just didn't work for me so this was one of those products I just can't love it I don't know I don't like it it's just not one of those great things to me so yeah can't I just really wish I would have bought something else the next liner I have is this Rimmel Scandalize waterproof liner in the shade nude I think I think this is nude yeah 005 nude and I have their black liner um, it's their black waterproof liner and it used to be one of my favorite liners but I've heard a lot of people talk about this one because it's nude and like nude makes your eyes pop and for me like white liner does not look good on me whatsoever it just makes me look crazy so I figured nude would be like a good thing for me to get because it might look good or whatever honestly I never use this I've used this probably about six times it looks so crazy on me I just I just can't bring myself to use it I mean, these are good liners. They have great formulas. They last for a really long time. But just the color on me just does not look good. I mean, honestly, like, I'm never happy with any other color of liner on me except for black. And this just looks crazy when I put it on. So, I don't know. I wish I would have spent my $5 on a black liner instead of this one. But, you know, what can you do? I'll just keep it until, um, I don't know, it's used up, I guess. The next thing I have, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of hate on because literally everybody and their mother loves this but I have to add this in the products I regret buying this is the hourglass ambient lighting palette I was going to do a whole review on it but I just decided not to um, because there's a lot of reviews out there but this is the just the powder this isn't the blush palette this is just the powders and I like the powders I hate the price when I was looking online and watching people's reviews on YouTube and stuff, I thought it was like a metal or like a glass or something. Not necessarily a glass, just like like a heavy duty metal type of palette, kind of like the Naked palettes. But it's just plastic. It is just plastic, kind of like my um, Lorac Afterglow. Literally like the same plastic. So I kind of was discouraged because I, I want to say that I paid $65 altogether for this. 
and that was one of the biggest letdowns because I think that this is so pretty and to receive it in the mail and see that it's just like really cheap plastic I was like wow so I started using the powders and at first I used this one because these are meant as like all over face powders and I was using this one as my all over face powder and at first it made me look good but the more and more I used it I just noticed how I could really see my pores and it just wasn't making me look good so I don't really know what happened because at first I looked flawless but like now if I was to put this all over my face it just doesn't look good you can see my pores you can see my flaws so I don't really use this as an all over face powder this one is the bronzy one and it's a little bit too orange for me so I have to wait till the summer to try and use that but this one I do use on an everyday basis I use this one as a highlighter even though they say that these are more of like finishing powders I still use this as a highlighter but it's not a bad product. I mean, it's a great product. I love the concept. I just think that it's too expensive. I feel like, you know, you can get something drugstore or just even not necessarily drugstore. You could get like a high-end product for way cheaper than $65. Like, come on. It's not even that big. So, I don't know. I guess you get what you pay for. But I just, I really regret buying this. I wish I wouldn't have bought it. I don't know. I know there are a lot of people out there who love it. Like I said, it's not a bad product. It's just really pricey, and I just don't think it's worth all that money. The next thing I have is this Max Studio Baked Bronzer. Um, I got this because I figured I could use it as a highlighter. Um, this is what it looks like. It's actually really pretty. It's just like a mineralized product. And as you can see, it's not really like a bronzer. It's more of like a highlighting shade. And I figured I could use it as a highlighter, and it would make me kind of luminous. Which it does, but on me, it almost makes me look ashy, so, I don't know, I just, I don't know, it was, I think, it, I want to say this was like 5 to $10, I can't really remember, but I just wish I wouldn't have even thought about buying this, I don't know why I did, but, I mean, it's a really pretty product, it just wasn't worth all that money when, I mean, it claims to be a bronzer, but that's not even bronze, so, I don't know, it's by uh, the TJ Maxx brand, but, yeah. So I have three more things. The next thing I have is the NYX Angel Veil. I know I featured this, I want to say, in like two of my favorites. And I really did used to like this. But now when I use it, first off, I don't know if it'll... If, oh, I don't know if... No, it didn't do it. Usually I have to shake this up really well because when I kind of squirt it out or whatever, it comes off liquidy like it comes out like a liquid and I don't really understand why but also I just don't feel like it makes my makeup last I don't feel like it you know does anything for my pores which I don't think this claims to be like a pore effect oh did you see that ew like that's disgusting right I mean maybe that's normal but none of my other primers do that I don't know but for me I don't know I just don't really think that this does anything to help my makeup last it doesn't make my makeup look any better if anything it just like now when I use it I just don't like the way my makeup looks and I just want to take it all off and redo it so I usually just use this on days when I'm like not going anywhere fancy or going to work or anything and I'm just like around town running errands or doing whatever I don't really reach for this ever just because it's not the greatest primer I wish I would have just saved my money I think I don't remember how much I spent on this, but it was pretty expensive for NYX, so yeah, I just, I regret buying this. The next thing I have is Benefits Sugar Balm, and I don't remember if I did include this in a favorites or not, but I have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to make this product work, and for me, it doesn't really come off as a blush, but then it doesn't really come off as a highlighter either. It's almost just like a normal face powder, and I mean, I just... I want it to be a blush so bad because I love it. I love the colors and I just feel like if they were, like, if they could be, if they would work how I imagine them to work in my head, it would be perfect. But they don't and I don't know what to do to get them to work. Plus, mine doesn't have a smell. You know, usually their box powders do have a smell. I know Coralisa smells to high heavens. It smells delicious. But this one has no smell. So I don't know. I don't know how to make this product work with my skin. I don't know if I just need to keep using it until the point I love it because there are times when I talk about how much I don't like a product and then I end up loving it but then there's times when I talk about how much I love a product and I end up hating it and I feel like this just needs to be loved like I spent so much money on this and it just needs to be loved like I need it to do something for me because I don't want my money to go to waste and I don't know it just doesn't do anything and I just feel like I wasted money on this because I never use it because I know it's not going to do anything so I don't know I just wish it would work but it doesn't so I don't know if you guys have any like different ways to use this I mean I feel like pale people 
like this would be perfect on but for me i just can't get it to work so i don't know if you guys have any special tips or tricks for this to work for me please let me know the last product i have i did also show in my last haul that i did it is the Too faced melted liquid lipstick and i don't not necessarily like this product i just really don't like the color and i don't have a sephora here so i can't return it but i did spend i think like 20 dollars on this and it wasn't like a oh my god i need this it was like oh my god i want that everybody talks about it i want it i want to try it when honestly i shouldn't even have spent that money i was just like oh i need it so i don't i don't know i don't really like the color of it like it's not that i don't like the color of it it's that i already have like two lipsticks that are the same pretty like pretty much dupes for this and it's just one of those that I really didn't need. I don't really know. It was just kind of an impulse buy. Like I said, I have two other lipsticks. I have one from Starlux as well as one from MAC that already look like this. And I just didn't need it. So I regret buying it just because I already have two other things in my collection. And I just spent money that could have been spent towards, you know, another lip product that I actually really do want or something. So, yeah, I'm just really disappointed in myself for buying this, not necessarily with the product because it is a good product. So, yeah, guys, that was my products I regret buying. Like I said, don't feel like offended because I'm knocking these products. These just didn't personally work for me. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am having a 500 subscriber giveaway here when I hit 500 subscribers. I think right now I'm at 480. So I just be excited because I've already started picking out prizes and stuff. So it's going to be a really fun, exciting giveaway. But I also need video like requests. I will take anything into consideration because I really need video requests. I was thinking about doing an updated makeup collection. So if that's something you guys would like to see, then let me know. But yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.